Alright, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I do have a very exciting video on the new Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. This has been out for probably a couple months now, and I've always wanted to go ahead and try it out for you guys. But every time I went on the website to buy it, I noticed it was only in the UK, and the shipping prices was a little bit too much for me for this foundation stick right here. Um, so it finally did come to the US. Um, so I went to Ulta the other day, and I picked it up, and I noticed one thing, you guys. The foundation range is not good that's the best and nicest way to put it it is not the best foundation range i've seen um because the next shade down is a little bit too light and the next shade up is a little bit dark and gray so this shade right here i feel like it's the only shade that you can honestly use if you are a woman of color um but i mean i'm gonna go ahead and try it out for you guys and see what it looks like on my skin i'm a little bit nervous because when i did swatch it it did look a little bit light um on my hand but you never know how it'll act on the face all right so if you guys want to stick around and see what it ends up looking like and if I do love it or not, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so I already went ahead and primed my face. I did go ahead and use a no pore blend primer right here. This one doesn't claim to make your face matte or dewy. It's a very, like, you know, neutral primer. Um, it just fills in your pores, and that's all it really does. And I already went ahead and color corrected, so we're good to go. All right, so moving on to the claims. It does claim on the website that it's an easy-to-apply formula that melts into your skin, um, blending seamlessly to leave a fresh and dewy finish. All right, so the word dewy, um, that really means that I'm going to be a grease ball towards the end of the day because you guys know I am very oily. Um, so I kind of already know how this is going to end up looking like, but I'm still going to go ahead and try it out. Um, it also does say on here that um, it has 18 shades and a range of undertones. Fast wave foundation quickly perfects contours and highlights your complexion. So even though it does have 18 shades, you guys, the shade range was just absolutely terrible. I'm not going to lie. Because when I went to Ulta and saw every single thing out there, they just didn't have a lot of, you know, different ranges for different types of skin tones. Um, this one right here, I feel like it's that universal color that every single person has to use. Because the one below it is a little bit too light. The one above it is gray, like a contour shade. Um, so I had to go ahead and pick up the shade. F13. All right, so let's go ahead and apply it on the face. Um, I really do love the packaging. I already said that before, but I really, really do like it. All right, so let's go ahead and apply it. Y'all, the color. Ooh, this is a little too light. All right, I can already tell this. Wow. I wanted to go out today and do a few errands. And I don't know because if I look ashy, I'm just gonna go ahead and stay inside because you're not gonna catch me looking like this. So I knew it was gonna be light, but I wasn't expecting it to be this light. So yeah. All right, I'm not gonna talk too much about that. Let me go ahead and blend it with a sponge. On half my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use a sponge right here, and the other half, I'm gonna use a brush. But let me go ahead and use the brush first. Alright, so this is half the face blended out. I really do like how it blends out. The color is looking a little bit better. It doesn't look as bad as when I first applied it. Alright, so let me go ahead and use my Equal Tools sponge. Alright, so I will say the sponge did a great job at blending because honestly, both sides look pretty good. Um, but looking in the mirror, I am looking a little bit gray and ashy right now. So let me go ahead and apply the Makeup Revolution Conceal and the Fine Concealer in the shade C13. You guys, if it wasn't for this concealer, because this concealer right now kind of saved the foundation. It makes it look a little bit more golden, not as ashy. It did a really good job of bringing everything together because y'all already know it was looking a little bit crazy. So I'm back with a full face and this is what it's looking like. Honestly, you guys, I think the foundation kind of adjusted to my skin tone because this is what it looked like when I first applied it. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. 
like this is what it looked like all right really light and ashy and look at my skin right now so i don't know if it was a concealer or whatever but something happened there but it's currently 1107 right now and i will be back around 5 p.m to see how the foundation is acting one thing i do know for sure is i am going to be oily because it did claim to be a dewy foundation stick so i already know i'm going to be oily no matter what um but i want to see if it breaks apart how it looks like throughout the day and so on so with that being said i'll see you guys in a little bit all right you guys so i'm back with my final thoughts and just look at my face i mean we already saw this coming it is a dewy foundation so i'm gonna be greasy as heck honestly i'm more greasy than normal because it's really hot outside um so let me go ahead and blot my face because this right here i cannot take one thing i do want to mention really quickly is i already went ahead and blot like twice today and my face still looks like this so that says a lot but the foundation um if you are oily i do not recommend this but if you do have dry skin i would say go ahead and buy it um, but let me go ahead and blot my face because the oils are looking a little crazy right now So my face is looking a little bit better, but I want to go ahead and tell you guys my final thoughts on this foundation right here. Two things I want to mention is the foundation is already coming off my skin. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but on my nose, my chin, and my forehead, I have a little bit of foundation left. So I don't know where it went. I don't know if it transferred, but it's definitely not on my face anymore. Um, and also, if you're oily, like I said before, you're going to be greasy by the end of the day. You really can't control that. Um, so those are the two cons with the foundation, but I'll move on to the pros. One one pro I do want to mention is I love how it blends on the skin. It blends so well, you guys. I always say everything blends like butter, but honestly, this one just blends into the skin like butter. Um, but at the same time, the shade range is terrible. I mean, this one right here, like I told you guys before, when I first watched it, I'm going to do it again. This is what it first looks like going on the skin, but I do think throughout the day it did oxidize on my skin because it doesn't look like this anymore. So I don't know what happened there. All right, so my final thoughts on this foundation stick right here. I'm not going to say it's horrible because I don't completely hate it, but I don't love it at the same time. I do think it's geared towards dry skin people. If you're oily, of course, you're going to look greasy towards the end of the day. And if I'm really honest with myself, you guys, I'll probably only wear this foundation if I'm doing something really quickly, like going to a grocery store or, you know, just going to school or class for a second but anything over four hours i don't recommend it um that's my final thoughts on this foundation stick i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out i love you so much and i'll see you in my next one